Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over jewelry and the runes. So let's get started. So as you can see here, we have four runes on each piece of gear. You can see there on the far right that one of them is actually locked. When you first get a piece of gear, it usually has one rune unlocked. But once you upgrade it to epic, then it can have two runes. Then legendary, three runes, mythic, four runes. So let's say that you don't feel like upgrading the equipment just to see what runes it holds. So what you can actually do is go to the limited time merchant, which is usually located close to the marketplace or the star seed girl, usually on a campsite. So here, as you can see, is right now it's running for a 21,000 star seed. It's not gonna be that like that anymore. That was just running for like last week. So right now it's gonna cost 30,000 star seed at the time of this video. So this identification tone is what you're gonna purchase and you'll be able to use this to reveal all the runes. Now let's take a look at this ring. Now with this ring, the numbers on the left are how many runes you have on your equipment altogether. The numbers on the right are how many you need for it to be activated, such as this skill attack power. It cannot be activated unless I have five of these red runes which as you can see, I have six, so I'm good. Now let's say that I had a necklace that also required six runes. It doesn't mean that I need to add six and five. I can just go by the highest number, six, and it'll activate for all the runes in the jewelry. Now what I'm about to show you is the infographics I made for the jewelry. That is it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below.